Hey y'all, this is Marley K. Hope y'all are well. Wanted to do something live today because I don't hardly ever show my face. So um, I was working and I had a thought, so I just wanted to share it with you, but I also want to tie it to scripture. So I'm going to share Galatians 5 with you, starting with chapter 13, and it is about life by the Spirit. And it's for those of us who choose not to celebrate anything today, but we may be in isolation um, you know, oftentimes it gets lonely because you are isolated from people and it seems like you are the only one who is trying to live set apart sometimes or a lot of the times. So I just want to know, I wanted you to know that um, I identify with you. Um, I experienced the same thing and, you know, holidays used to bother me, but they don't bother me anymore because I, I understand that I'm different. I think different. Um, I have strong convictions and um, I'm okay with that. So, you know, for those of us who are new and it's a little, um, you know, um, isolating or lonely, I just want you to know that you are not alone. We are, there are a lot of us out here just by ourselves, twiddling our thumbs and being rebellious all by ourselves, but we are here. Um, and we also understand that we are not free yet. We are in um, the land of our captivity. And so we must be vigilant, but we also must work for independence. It doesn't come um, without a fight. And so I wanted to share some ways that I believe that we could become, we could begin to work on becoming independent until um, our supernatural deliverance comes. So um, I'm going to start with Galatians 5, chapter 13, and I'm reading from the New International Version. So it says, you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that, that don't mean everybody. It means Israel. It means us. So for our people, we need to learn how to love ourselves um, and our neighbors. So, you know, I, I think this... Is fitting with all the strife amongst our community, amongst our nation in particular. So, um, you know, it's something that we should remember today. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. And that's what's happening to us now. Um, you know, you look at the man versus woman war we got the war on the youth the youth are out here killing each other so this is what's happening to our community now and so we need to remember as we think about freedom not to squander all the opportunities we have to get things right so i say this is uh verse 16 so i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is contrary in, uh, to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, and this is uh, 19, the acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery, idolatry, and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this, this will not inherit those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live in the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. 
Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying of each other. So, you know, as people go out and about today practicing their idolatry to their um, flesh, uh, let us have a different mindset of what freedom can be, what independence this this day can be used for something good. So, um, I hate to turn their days into something good, but when it's concerning independence and, and us being in captivity, I think we really do need to have a change of mindset. So I had five points that I wanted to mention about independence and how we could free ourselves from this um, system. So... As a part of coming out of her, my people, um, the first um, bullet that I had is mental independence. We need to become mentally free from this system. And that's difficult for a lot of people. I know a lot of people are straddling the fence. You know, I got to work, but I want to be free. I have these ideas. I got these things that I want to do. And I know I'm supposed to occupy until, but I want to do these things. But I know I'm supposed to be coming out of her. And so a lot of us struggle with coming out of this system. So, um, you know, we need to to come to terms with things are changing in this system. And we're going back into a captivity, um, a different type of captivity, but it's a captivity, no doubt. And so we need to prepare. And part of that preparation begins mentally. So once you begin to prepare mentally, then you can do all the other things on this list. So number two, I have food independence. You should be becoming self-sufficient. It means growing your own food, buying seeds. Even if you don't grow the food, buy some seeds, a lot of seeds, uh, because all the food is going to be contaminated. It's, it's actually already contaminated. Most people are thinking, you know, they got time, but we've been eating vaccinated food for a minute, years. We've been... Um, Black people in particular have been <laughs> chosen to be guinea pigs for this lab-grown chicken that's going to be put in our communities. Y'all know that, right? So, um, you know, coming off of flesh or learning how to buy flesh locally is going to be important. But you got to mentally prepare to do that. It means diligently working on how you're going to find those resources. Where are they in your community? Um, if you want to eat flesh, you got to find it. Um, you should stay away from the flesh that we are not supposed to eat because it's bad for our health. Even though, you know, we may, some people may eat it and may feel like it's okay. Um, you know, in the long run, it's not okay. So let us try to become mentally independent and um, food secure with food independence. Uh, means buying non-perishables and stocking them up and doing all those sorts of things that you need to do in order to prepare for what's coming. Uh, number three is financial independence, becoming financially independent. For some people that may be paying off all your debt, if you have the money to do that, hooray. Um, if you don't, basically what's coming to this system is it's going to turn over. All the debt is going to be washed away and they're going to start this new system based on our old system, whatever they've collected about us. So you will have to decide um, how you become financially independent. Also, you will have to decide whether or not, um, you know, what life is going to look like for you with the CBDC and um, if you decide to participate in the banking system or not. Um, that's something that each person has to work out with their spirit. You got to know how far you got to go into it and so on and so forth. So I really suggest you investigate those things if you are trying to go into this system and, you know, play patty cake with it. If not, what does that look like for you? Are you prepared to barter or do you have um, tangible assets that you can trade if you need to do things like pay your taxes which I don't know how you're going to be able to do that if you don't use the CBDC. So, um, you know, you need to be aware of what's going on in your state as well, because some states are um, creating laws that 
uh, are against the CBDCs and will allow you to escape them, um, you need to pay attention to that. But financial independence is going to be really important for all of us. Um, it's the only way you're going to be free. We're, we're not supposed to be relying on currency anyway. We're supposed to be trading and helping each other like the Amish and the Mennonites and other groups, um, how they work together. Um, we're supposed to be living off our land and sharing our harvest. Uh, we should not be, you know, stuck to debt where you got to live in a place where you got to pay a light bill. Um, water bill. We should have wells. So, you know, we we lived the simpler way when we were not here. We were taken away from that. And so now we are living in ways that we are bound by debt. How do you get out of that? How do you get rid of television? Stop watching television. How do you get rid of the internet? You, we don't really need the internet. We lived for centuries without the internet. We don't have to have it. It's just a luxury. Um, you know, same with lights. We, we didn't have power. I, I, I can remember my great-grandfather didn't have power. Um, we would go to his house in the summertime, and he'd have all the curtains pulled back to let the sunlight in. He'd have the windows open so fresh air would come in, and it was comfortable. It wasn't hot. Um, his house wasn't made out of what houses are made out of today, but it was comfortable. Um, we went outside and pumped water for him. He was old. He was like in his 90s, but... When we weren't there, he took his bucket outside and he pumped the water. He had an outhouse, used the bathroom outside. Now, I don't know what happened to the stuff that was out there, but he had an outhouse. So we can live without the modern luxuries. We just have to become accustomed to that um, or set our minds, get, get prepared mentally for that possibility and then figure out how to do it. So in case we don't have money, in case we are locked out of the system, you can survive. Next is medical independence. Um, I'm huge on this. I've been trying to figure out how to eat better so that I don't need medicine. I have all types of tinctures and um, salves and natural things that I've collected. I've purchased books so that I can learn how to treat myself with herbs and um, different types of healthy, holistic means and not have to do, to rely on this system because I'm afraid of it. I'm just leave it at that. Um, but becoming medically independent is important. And you also need to consider the people who live in your community, your other family members, because, you know, for me, I'm thinking about um, how, how do I position myself to be of value to the community? you know, when things get bad, because I know I'm living around so many ignorant people who just will not listen and don't pay attention to what's happening. So that that is what I'm doing. If you position yourself to become medically independent, you'll be a lot safer. You don't have to worry about going to the hospital and um, being forced to take stuff you don't want to take. And the way that they are doing things to medicine now, um, it's just not safe. Let's just say that. Um, study what's in a lot of the medicine now. The stuff that was in the lollipop is in a lot of the medicine that we take. So make sure that you know what you're taking. If you do take medication, talk to your doctor. If you are on medications, I'm not a physician. Let me tell you that as a disclaimer. So don't come back and say I said nothing. Um, <laughs> but... Consult with a holistic physician or practitioner so that you can learn how to heal yourself with natural remedies. A lot of times it's food, food and stress, food and lack of exercise. Um, we've been consuming a lot of bad things for a long time. And so if we just lose a little weight, change our diets, eat better, add some different things that we don't necessarily get here in America we'd be a lot better off. So buy holistic um, things to care for yourself medically. But consult with a holistic physician 
if you need to. So, all right, and number five, the last one and most important one is worship independence. A lot of times right now, you know, a lot of people are conflicted with Sunday worship, um, Sabbath worship, um, learning how to worship independently is going to be a saving grace for a lot of us. Um, uh, we've grown up in the church and the fellowship is good, but a lot of people are not ready to leave Sunday worship. And a lot of people, even though they know it's wrong, they just can't stop doing it. And so a lot of times you feel yourself, you know, being isolated or, um, you know, maybe you work on Sunday and so, or, or the weekend and, and, you know, you can't, you haven't found um, a way to observe Sabbath. Um, you know, I don't really have a, a solution for that outside of you just do what the Jews do. You say you're a Jew and they don't work on weekends. They don't work on sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. They don't work till Sunday and they are covered. So since they got stuff for us, I have to use their stuff. But worship independence is going to be really important, especially going forward as we go through these different things. Because as things get tougher for us, we are going to need to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. So as I close, let me share with you um, this scripture. It is John 4, 24. And it says, God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. The New Living Translation says, For God is spirit, so those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So, as we fight lies, as we fight all this dishonest, um, you know, uh, media, the systems, even, you know, um, pastors and different leaders, there's so many people coming out with so much uh, false information, like we have to work really hard at figuring out what's the truth. And, you know, as we're being taught, and I love, 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 let me just say, I love the fact that so many black men are stepping up and teaching our people. I, I appreciate it and I love it. Um, but we got some raccoons <laughs> and we got some, we got some other people who are not being, um, genuine and authentic in this hour so it's it's a struggle trying to make sure that we get good information and anybody can mess up i mess up a lot of people mess up um that's one thing if you make a mistake you come back you apologize but you know there are a lot of people trying to mislead us and i don't want to call out anybody's name but as this awakening happens i see a lot of people trying to say oh you're this oh you're that oh we're you know whatever it, and for what benefit you know i don't know it's not going to deliver us it's not going to rescue us but um the truth is going to get harder to find and so that is why we must worship in the spirit so that our discernment will be good and we can detect truth or we can you know verify the truth with the word and the only way you can do that is if you stay in your word and you worship more, um, you have that quiet time with the most high. So, you know, for me to become independent of this system and try to live in a world within a world, I, you know, these are some things that I just thought about as I was outside working today. And I was like, you know, None of this is easy, let me tell you, because I showed y'all bald head acres. That's my guard. That's what I call my guard, and she is not doing good. <laughs> she, is, she is a problem, but I'm still outside. I'm, I'm working her, I'm working her, and I'm starting to see some progress now, but I just don't know what happened earlier this year. I planted a whole lot of stuff. I was so excited, and I'm driving around. I look at everybody's garden, and it's like, what's wrong with my stuff? So I have... I have some stuff growing, but it's not 
as I anticipated. And that's life, you know, that, that happens. But I'm not giving up because I know I have to do this in order to become independent. I have grandchildren. I have sons um, who, you know, they, they're going to bring whatever they bring to the table. But I'm the matriarch of my family. So people are going to be looking out for looking for me to step up. I don't have a husband. I don't have a, um you know a significant other. So I'm it. Uh and so everybody's got their jobs. My son, every son has a job. The grandchildren, they know if, if times get hard, they come to help grandma work this card and I already told everybody y'all coming to help me. Um my neighbors, they watch, but they don't they don't do anything. But I know as soon as times get hard and those groceries go up and that dollar ain't no good, everybody gonna be trying to figure out, well, how do I do so and so and so? So I understand that I'm gonna be a resource in my community. I've already positioned myself to be that. Um and I, I'm expecting it. I embrace it. I know that's what I am. This gray hair ain't for nothing. So I am going to do what I need to do in order to take care of my people because that's what I'm supposed to do as an uh, elder. So, um, you know, as you go about this day, you don't, you know, don't necessarily have to isolate yourself and be bitter or down or depressed. Think about how you can become independent because it doesn't necessarily have to be an independence day for this country. Um, Or you don't have to celebrate their holiday. But we need to really figure out how we need to come out of this system. How What can we do to make sure we are not caught off guard? And that's my my biggest thing. So do what you can. Um, You know, if you're going to try to invest and make a little quick dollar, I can't help you. You have to go someplace else. (laughs) That's not my area of expertise. I will tell you to invest in tangible stuff, though. Gold and silver and food, things that you can barter with, tools that you can fix your house with, um, things for your automobile so that you can leave and go to the ships of Tarshish if they come. Um, You know, have water reserves, uh, water purification stuff. Just It's just so many things that you can be doing to position yourself to become free of this system. So when people are caught off guard, you're not. So that's all I got, people. Y'all enjoy your day off. If you're off, if you're working, work hard. Work blackity black, 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 black. Um, I'm going outside and gardening some more. Pray over my little bald head garden. I don't know. She needs some luster support pink or a moisturizer or something. She's just so beautiful. But I love y'all. Y'all are not alone. So don't think, oh, I'm by myself. I don't have nobody. It's a lot of us. We all scattered everywhere. Just struggling. But we are spiritually together. So to me, that's all that matters. We gonna make it. We're going to make it. It's going to be tough, but we're going to make it. We were built for this time. So for those of us who are awakened, y'all keep on doing what you do. Become independent because we're going to need to be independent. These folks got us trapped. And we just got to be ready for most high when he comes to get us. Um, That's all I'm waiting for. But in in the meantime, you got to be ready. So. Let's work on being ready so we can be independent from the system whenever it fails us again. All right, this is Marley Kay, and I am out.